Hello and welcome to this Excel help video for dropping a text line in a cell or formula bar. Um, it's just quite a long title, a bit confusing, but what it actually does is sometimes you want to be able to drop down a text line, leave a space, uh, whatever you, terminology you want to be able to use, you want to use within one cell. Now, as most of you know, if you type in in a cell, line one and you want to go to line two and you click enter like you normally would on word or whatever else it drops down cells so that's the problem how do you actually then drop down within that cell to type more text if you want to so you can do this in the cells or you can actually do it in the formula bar um, now if you're doing massively long complicated formulas well, you're probably not watching my videos to start off with, but if you are, you can actually use the same theory inside the formula bar to actually drop down a line in order to keep your formulas quite clear so you can see stage by stage by stage. Um, but you can use the same concept, but I'll show you how to do it in the wrap text. I'm going to show you as well. Sometimes you've got a whole bunch of merged cells to make a big uh, cell like that, and I'll show you how you can actually drop down a line. So if you want to do line one, for example, and you want to go to line two, what you do is you hold down Alt and then click enter. And then you can go, so you can say line one, hold on Alt, enter, line two, hold on Alt, enter, and again, line three. So you can even leave a space if you want to. And that will then adjust those for, for, the, for the text that you put in. Um, if I clear that, I'll show you in this one, it's exactly the same. Sometimes in some of the spreadsheets I make, there's a whole big uh, amalgamation. We have merged a whole bunch of cells to make a big block. And I say, well, type what you want in here. And sometimes people start typing a line, a line of text. And when they type more, it will drop down. So it will drop down because, um, it's done as shrink to, uh, uh, as uh, wrap text. But the problem is now they want to leave. They want to maybe change end that sentence, start a new sentence and a new line, and then they click enter, and all of a sudden art jumps out the cell, and this frustrates them. So what you can do again, exactly the same thing. If we click on here, so you can see it. If you click Alt and enter, it'll drop down the line, and then. type more text so that's how you can drop down and you can do exactly the same way in the formula bar you can say equals a1 plus a2 and then you can enter alt and then times by a3 whatever the case might be you can actually adjust you can actually do your formula you can then click on that to show more of it. So you can lay out your formulas in a, in a way that you can easily understand. Obviously you wouldn't do it for such a simple formula, but you might do it for a more complicated formula when you've got various calculations going on. So you can do it using the formula, but more importantly, I think in these cells, you can drop down the line within a cell. Just keep in mind a few things. If you did it in something like that, um or if you had if, if this was formatted to shrink to fit and you did it it would only show the first row the the first row with the rest of it will all be hidden so you just got to keep in mind how you formatted the text but you can drop down within the cell by clicking alt and enter so i hope that that helps you where it needs to thank you very much